Recently, Cassini has found that a tiny moon that orbits around Saturn has jets and plumes of water coming out of it. These particles go out and they form the E-ring. And in flying through the E-ring, one of the instruments on Cassini, the Cosmic Dust Analyzer, can take those particles and get a composition. And as part of that, they see salt. This is salt and this is what we found in the ice particles we detected in Saturn's E-ring. And what we think is that the salt comes from an ocean below the surface of the Moon and Enceladus. The sodium is a tracer for a subsurface ocean. That's the material of the ice particles, a kind of water, like on Earth. And that that salty ocean tells us something about what might be going on inside of Enceladus to create the jets and plumes that you need water, liquid water, in contact with the rocky core to get out the sodium. You could sort of think of maybe the plumes of maybe sort of the breath of Enceladus, you know, coming out and telling us something about its interior. So what we can say is we have a reservoir of liquid water and liquid water is one of the um, preconditions for forming life. I was surprised and also very excited to find out that, you know, we're getting closer and closer to the conclusion that you have liquid water, possibly a liquid ocean, on a moon that's so tiny and in a place where we didn't expect to find conditions where you might find life. This tiny moon, just 300 miles across, that might have liquid water and the conditions, that, that the precursors for life. The focus as Cassini continues in its Equinox mission and continues on into the future will be to have more close flybys of Enceladus, to fly through that plume fly close to this tiny moon to learn more about the processes going on inside.